Good day to everyone. I'm Mad Wantamad and welcome to another video here at Madodol Channel. For today's video, we are going to update you on a decoupled aquaponics system somewhere here in Quezon City. So for us to start our walkthrough, let's start with our fish tank over here. So follow me. Here is our made 1,200 liter capacity fish tank. So the tilapia here is approximately two months old. So they're already big. No? So some are two months old, some are three months old. No? So let's feed them. Let's see if they're hungry. There. So, an aquaponic system, uh, the aquaponic system here has 150 red tilapia. No? So, the tilapia will feed on the fish uh, feeds and then excrete waste. No? So, when they excrete waste, uh, the, the waste will go down and be sucked in to the solid lifting outlet over there. So that's a solid lifting outlet. Then from the solid lifting outlet, it now goes to our filter over here. So this is the made DuraFlow mini filter. Now let me remove the cover. So in the made DuraFlow filter, we have our uh, radial flow in the center over here. And then from the radial flow, it goes to a static media over here. And then from the static media, which traps a lot of waste, as you can see here, can you zoom in on the waste? That's a lot of fine particles trapped in, in, the, in the static bed. Now, we don't want to dislodge those particles. So uh, when we clean them, we reverse the flow of the filter and dump it to our uh, hydroponic component over here. So because this is decoupled, from the static media, it goes to a moving bed media over here. So this is the moving bed media where the ammonia is converted into nitrates. And then from the moving bed media, it now goes to our sump over here. So in our sump over here, we have a pump. So zoom in on the pump. So that's just a small, a very small pump. Uh, which pumps the water back to our fish tank over here. So it goes back over here. No? Okay, now when we drain the waste, let me place back the cover of our uh, filter. Now when we drain the waste of our filter, it goes to our hydroponic sump over here. So in our hydroponic sump, we have some uh, lettuce seedlings we started. So later we will uh, show you how we start our seedlings. And then from the sump, it goes to another sump over here. Where it has uh, another pump. No? So this sump has its own pump over here. Okay. So it has a slightly larger pump. Which delivers the water all throughout the gravel bed. So let's look at one gravel bed over here. So follow me. Let's start with gravel bed number one. So in gravel bed number one, this is just a backyard system, no? So sometimes the owner has no time to prune it, no? But in spite of that, they, ha they still have a lot of tomatoes. So let's zoom in on so some of the tomato clusters here. As you can see, a full cluster of tomatoes. Very big tomatoes. And some over there also. No? So they don't have time to uh, harvest them. As much as possible, we would like to harvest them when they get uh, a little uh, orange tint, no? They have some uh, talong here. This is just gravel bed number one, no? In gravel bed number two, again, they have more tomatoes here, no? This needs a lot of pruning, no? This system needs a lot of pruning. More tomatoes here, more tomatoes inside, and some okra here, no? So, every day they get a lot of okra, no? This is just from the gravel bed. They have a chili plant here, some tarragon, some sweet basil, and because they have a lot of uh, space uh, in their urban garden, they also plant okra there, no? on the soil garden. So the, the exit or the drain of the aquaponics over here, when we have uh, excess sludge, we can drain the excess sludge by just connecting a hose to our soil-based garden over there. So see how huge the basil leaves are? and some uh, mustard leaves, and some uh, chili plant, and okra on the far side. 
So on the next uh, gravel bed, we have here we have uh, some some more okra and some talong here that are already flowering. And here we have more tomatoes over here. We have uh, tomatoes over here. So it's important to prune your tomatoes and harvest the, uh, the tomatoes so they don't get old and uh, they don't go to seed though. So some tomatoes are, because this is just an urban uh, garden and it's just for their own consumption. They have an abundance of tomatoes. They don't know what to do with it, no? So let's go to uh, grow bed number, uh, another grow bed here. Here. Uh, this is a large, a huge okra over here, see? And some more tomatoes over here. See? We have a lot of tomatoes. Let me borrow one cover so I can put the tomatoes in. We have a lot of tomatoes and an, a big eggplant here. And some more tomatoes here. Let's get some more tomatoes. We don't like to let them ripen at the tree because when the tomato senses that they're already uh, ripe, the tomato plant will now start to wilt because it senses that it already uh, went to seed no? or it produced a lot of seed already. So we don't want to do that. We, we harvest them when, when they're still uh, orange or, or a little uh, tint of a, a color. No? So here we, uh, we have some chili plants. Let me set this aside first. Let me set this aside first in the gravel bed. So here we have some chili plants. Don't see how green the chili are. No? So see how glossy the natural wax coating of the the shine and the natural natural wax coating of the chili plant no so we have some green tomatoes here and here we have some big mint you see how big the mint the mint are compared to my hand so if you like uh, to add them in your drinks or add them in your cooking you can add uh, the mint no this is just in the gravel bed, no? So the, gra the gravel bed is a flood and drain gravel bed, no? Again, uh, let's go here. Let's, uh, I'll show you how to, how we plant uh, in the floating raft, no? So we already harvested some of the lettuce. Now this is a, a pelletized uh, seed from the Netherlands. Uh, the, the brand is uh, Rink Swan. Okay, no, so uh, this is sealed when it comes to the, from the factory. Let's open one. So after you open this, you need to refrigerate it, okay? So let's put it here. So be careful not to... So these are 5,000 seeds, no, in a, in a can. Let's get some. Because they are pelletized, you don't need to cover them, no? So if you have a net pot over here, you simply have to add it in, in the center of the net pot with pumice as long as the pumice is moist the seed will germinate no so let's add one each let's uh yeah. you don't need to cover them because they have uh, already a cover no so just make sure they you reach the moist part of the pumice no so it will wick in the moisture no so here's an example so that's the, the seed and after a, three days it will start to germinate now let's see one already germinated no here is an example of a germinated seed and here are the roots the roots are very clean no so we wait for three days and then the seed has a 99 percent uh, germination rate so they're very uh reliable no so let's uh, replace the cover back. So the, uh, the seeds you need to put, si put inside the ref, no? a, a Ziploc container or a Tupperware and put it in your refrigerator no? so to prevent them uh, to, ex to extend the life of the seeds. No? So again, to recap our aquaponic system, let me place the seeds back there. Here we have our uh, sensor. Uh, let's read the sensor reading. The TDS is 160 parts per million. 
the pH is 6.9 to 7. It's, it, it's fluctuating. Uh, and then the temperature is 29 degrees Celsius. No? So it's a little bit hot here. No? So again, the system has a RAS component over here which contains 150 red tilapia. They're already big. And then from the RAS component, the exit of the nutrients or the sludge from the RAS component goes to our hydroponic component over here. The hydroponic component has uh, four gravel beds and two uh, floating rafts, uh, DWC, which doubles as our sum. No? So if you have questions about aquaponics, we have our, YouTube, uh, our Facebook page, uh, Modular Aquaponics. We also have our YouTube channel, which I'm happy to announce that we have already reached 50,000 subscribers. So let's uh, clap. Uh, let's give everyone a warm of applause. Uh, and again, because we've reached uh, 50,000 subscribers, we will now uh, draw the winners no, from our uh, mini grow bed draw. But unfortunately, some of the participants did not follow the instructions. No? So if you, if, you're, if you want to win, still win, we'll give you another chance by following the instructions on that video, which I'll uh, put the link on the description below. So follow the, the instructions by uh, subscribing, uh, sharing on Facebook, and tagging three friends and commenting on the video why you want to win no? so make sure the post is uh, public because if we don't see the post or we don't see the post as public we will not know if you're part of the draw no? so if you have uh, more questions you can put your comments below uh, and again thank you for watching